and we're back at this street again. First time to catch the bus. I'll take a Greyhound bus. I bought a 15 day pass, which is like $400, but that allows you to travel across all lines all over the country with Greyhound. That's quite a good value, honestly. So, walking towards the bus, and uh, the adventure kicks off. Leaving Darwin, get myself into the center of the continent. It's gonna be very interesting. I have no idea how it's gonna go down. Made it into Catherine. It's hot. There's an hour long break here, and I think this is the last city before we head out to the outback. That's a lot of hay. Catherine has this typical small town vibe, not much going on here, it's just f***ing hot here. They have all the facilities that people need to have a functional life. Nothing interesting beside the national parks and stuff, which I won't be able to check out now. You see there's a lot of aboriginal people living here. This is basically the last city, last town before we head into the outback to Alice Spring. Not much in Catherine, I'm telling you. There are a couple parks, uh, there's a Aboriginal Museum, Art Museum, which is closed, and also there's a Catherine Museum, which is also closed, and I cannot visit right now. Also, the bus is gonna leave in like 45 minutes, so yeah, I don't even mind that. Because, like, what's really crazy is that I've seen so many dead wallabies on the side of the road coming here. Small rat kangaroo, whatever. I was counting them and I've seen at least 15 or 16 dead wallabies. It's like if a kangaroo and a rat had a baby, then that would be a wallaby. So many roadkill. Probably gonna be even more. I've seen an insane amount of cars burned out or crashed into the woods, into the bush along the way. Completely burned out on the side of the road. Abandoned. Crazy, bro. Sunset already. We stopped at the road house. Mara, Wayside Inn. And the road house is cool place. Here's a couple of drinks. There, there's a caravan park. You can sleep here. Usually there's a motel. There's a gas station outside. There's a restaurant, a bar. They have everything you need on the road, really. We can tell you at least 200 kilometers empty and nothingness.
made it into Tannen Creek. What's in Tannen Creek? Certainly a BP gas station and, and danger, apparently. Front here, danger. My friend says it's <laughs> more dangerous than Alice Spring. It like, is. I wouldn't walk alone. And I wouldn't walk alone in the <laughs> any outback <laughs> location at night. It's about like midnight and we're gonna have like one and a half hour break here. And it's f***ing cold. It's Cold man. <laughs> I have shorts on, man. <laughs> shorts and tongs on, man. Tongs. Shorts on. Yeah. These, yeah. these are the Australian, Australian work, work boots. That's the work boots. Australian work boots. <laughs> everyone, everyone is in tongs except me. Seven more hours than we did in Alice Like 135 kilometers from Alice Spring. It's freezing. Jacket is my warmest. I'm not prepared for this. Two Alice Springs. All right, I made it to Alice Springs. Oh my God, it's so cold. Jesus Christ, it's like four degrees. They said. Yeah, it's not idea when you're short and just a windbreaker jacket. God damn it. I really gotta get to the hostel as soon as possible. Or no. so I was saying it at least quite close, so I can get there real fast. I would have never thought that it's gonna be this cold. I can't feel my fingers. Australia is so hot. Yeah. And it's also cold, apparently. He is crying of dive hypothermia. Okay, I'm over exaggerating a little bit, but it is incredibly freezing cold. Also, it's great that I just arrived at 7 a.m. Because check-in time is usually from 2 p.m. So we cannot go into the hostel. No one's answering. There's no reception. And when we call the phone number they have on Google Maps, it's just some robot voice talking to us like, Oh, your call is very important for us. Thank you very much. Your privacy is number one. And no one's speaking it up. Oh, I'm sorry we could take your call. Just freeze to death. And Alice Ring, enjoy your day. There's a plaza mall or whatever. Trying to get warm a little bit. This is Maki, by the way. She's from, she's from Japan. <laughs> That's the deal. Thank you, YJ. It's real, real cool from you. All the great news, the, the Plaza Mall is closed as well. <laughs> oh, that's just f***ing great. Oh, we managed to get into a McDonald's. Oh, my coffee. Holy f***ing hell. Oh, at least I got a coffee now. Yeah, a little bit of food soon, so gotta warm up a little bit and then figure out what's next. I got into my room. Thank God, I'm so tired, so... Here's my bed. There's a couple more. There's only one person in the room. This room is quite cool for the price, honestly. There's one thing that I'm a bit concerned about, which is these guys right here. I don't specifically like that they're here. I'm not sure if they mean any harm. Or also they being here first, so they're behind the other bed as well. Oh yeah, there's there's another one. Hello. 